chapter 13 soil in this chapter we are going to learn what soil is we are going to learn the different types of soil and their properties and the uses of soil here's a warm up for you Kathy loves to visit her grandparents they live near the beach and have a lovely kitchen garden the surface of the kitchen garden is very different from that of the beach Kathy finds it very difficult to walk on the beach. Do you know why the beach and the garden have different surfaces? When we are walking in the garden or the beach or on the mud road, we are actually walking on the soil. Soil is the substance where plants grow. A lot of creepy crawlies like to live in soil. The topmost layer of the earth's surface is made up of soil. Soil is made up of many different things, but it mainly contains two things. One is tiny broken pieces of rock and the other is humus, which is the remains of dead plants and animals. Soil also contains air and water in it. Now let's see how soil is formed. Soil is mainly formed by a process called weathering. You have learnt how earth is a rocky planet and hence we have a rocky surface. Weathering breaks down the rocks into pieces. These pieces keep breaking till they are very tiny minute particles. These very small particles of rock become soil. Weathering is a natural process where wind, rain and heat, rivers, Movements of animals, etc. break down the rocks into tiny particles. It is a very slow process and takes hundreds of years for rocks to become soil. Did you know that it takes almost 500 years to make just one inch of soil? People also break down rocks to tiny particles using machines. But that is not how soil is formed. Remember, soil was formed long before man even started living on earth. Therefore, we can say that soil was formed by a process called weathering. Let's think. Imagine a world with no soil. How would it be? No soil means the surface is only made up of rocks. Water cannot penetrate through rocks. This means we will have no groundwater. Rivers make their paths over rocks and through the soil. This means we will have no rivers. Creepy crawlies, worms and microbes make their homes in the soil. Plants and trees cannot grow on rocks. The roots of plants hold on to the soil and are able to stay upright. Also, soil provides plants and trees with water and nutrients to help them grow. Only algae etc. are able to grow on rocks and these are not enough to help feed and sustain us. Without trees, there would be no fire and no homes. In fact, Life as we know it would not be possible without soil. Why is soil important? Soil is porous. This makes things penetrate into it. This also makes it easy for plants to grow in it. Roots of trees and plants go down into the soil and get a firm grip. This helps plants stand upright. Rainwater can also seep into the ground. This is how we have groundwater under the soil. Many small animals like ants, worms, microbes make their way under the soil and live there. As soil has been formed from rocks, there are many minerals which are deep inside the soil. Soil horizons. There are some layers which are present in the soil called horizons. There are three horizons, A, B and C, which are present in all types of soil. Humus or organic, denoted by O. This layer is a thick layer of plant and animal remains such as leaves and twigs, microbes, dead worms, etc. 
the top soil is denoted by the letter a it is a thin layer it contains organic matter and minerals this layer is the main layer where plants and organisms live the subsoil is denoted by the letter b this layer contains clay iron and organic matter the parent material or rock which is denoted by the letter c all the above layers developed from this layer it is made up of a weathered or decomposed rock the bedrock which is denoted by r this bottom layer is several feet below the surface the bedrock is made up of a large solid mass of rock here's a tidbit for you soil acts as a filter and removes all the pollutants from the water as it seeps down various layers to form groundwater types of soil as we mentioned before that rocks become soil over time different types of rocks form different types of soil there are three types of soil sand silt and clay sand sand is made of small particles of weathered rock sandy soils are very poor in retaining water in them as plants cannot find water in this soil it is very difficult for plants to grow in this soil but this type of soil is very good in making a drainage system silt silt contains small particles compared to sandy soil silt is made up of a rock and other minerals it is smooth and fine and it holds water better than sand silt is easily transported by water it is found near the river lake beds etc the silt is more fertile than any other type of soil therefore farmers use this soil to improve the soil fertility clay clay has the smallest particles the particles in this soil are tightly packed with very little or no air this makes the soil very good at retaining water in it it is very sticky to touch when wet but smooth when dry compared to the other two types of soil clay is densest and heaviest soil this makes it difficult for plants to grow in it and for water to pass through it loam loam is a combination of sand silt and clay loamy soil is very suitable for farming so it is called agricultural soil it has a perfect balance of all three types of soils it also contains humus in it loam contains more nutrients and minerals in it because it contains organic matter here is a science top up for you we have read how humus is made from decayed plants and animals and is very fertile so learning from nature farmers add compost to soil to make it fertile plants fruits and vegetable waste etc are stored in a box and are allowed to decay this decayed organic matter becomes compost and makes the soil fertile let's explore find different types of soil in your neighborhood discuss where you found each and what is the difference between them in your class uses of soil number 1 agriculture it is the most obvious use of soil plants grow in soil from where they get all the nutrients and water the better the fertility of the soil the better is the crop number 2 building soil is used in construction of buildings even now in several villages you can see huts which are made up of mud the soil is also used to make bricks number 3 glass sand is also used to make glass 
all the glass that you see around in window panes and drinking glass are all made of sand. Number four, pottery. Have you seen the fine vase and teacups in your house? All these are made up of clay. Clay is used in pottery, also called ceramics. Number five, medicines. Yes, the soil is used to make medicines. Soil contains microbes. These microbes can help destroy bacteria. So, different types of soil are used to make medicines. Number six, beauty care. Some beauty products are made from soil. Soil is used to even make cosmetics and toothpaste. Here's the glossary of the chapter. Porous means having very small holes to allow air and water to pass through. Penetrable means to allow substances to pass through. Retain is to absorb and hold continuously. Cosmetics are substances that are used to improve one's appearance or looks. Ceramics are made from clay and are heated to dry. Organic are things which are derived and made from living matter. Fertile is capable of producing crops and plants. Here's a mind map for you. Soil is made from rock and it is of three types. Clay, silt and sand. Soil is made up of several layers also called horizons. They are humus, topsoil, subsoil, parent material or rock and bedrock. 